Libras, how are you guys? How are you balancing life? I hope all is well. For those who know me, hello. K-Star is here. Haven't read for you guys for a while. Uh, I just want to see how you guys are doing. A touching basis. Christmas is almost coming up. We celebrate Christmas. And what we got, what, approximately, what, 28 days? No, wait. 29 days before we're into the new year, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle the deck and just lay the cards out and just read whatever I see. And I'm going to go ahead on with my disclaimer on if the shoe fits, wear that shit, Cinderella, and then don't. If it doesn't, you know, just don't try to fit in where you don't get in, okay? Um, also, too, if you would like to have a private reading, the information will be just below the video, and also donations are welcome, and I would like to thank those who gave me the opportunity to do private readings for them. I really do appreciate it. And also, too, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell, and subscribe to the channel, okay? And share it with friends who you feel um, may need it. Even though they may not be a Libra, they could have Libra on their charts. But if the information resonates with what they're possibly going through, just share it with them, okay? So let's move forward. And let's see what the universe, what's going on with you. With Libra, sun, moon, rising, and in Venus, Holy Spirit. What is going on with Libra, sun, moon, rising, and in Venus? I'm going to tell you, as I was spinning the deck, I saw five of swords. And I've seen the five of wands here. So possibly someone's going through a lot of arguments and conflict with people. I've just seen the four of pentacles. Some information being held back or someone is holding back their emotions from someone because they're just sick and tired of the bullshit. Let's see. Okay. The full card here. Ooh, the justice card here. Somebody's ready to take a new leap of faith on life because they tired of this shit. The seven of pentacles. I'm hearing... Um, Libra, that you're saying, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to do me right now. I'm going to step out on faith. Look, fast communication. Okay? Fast movement. And you're just going to communicate. You're going to do whatever. Let me tell you, the justice card is here. You showed up here. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to birth, I just feel like it's going to come to your favor. It's, it's, it's time. It's going to... Your grass is going to be green, I feel. Holy Spirit, please clarify the full card. Y'all, if I sound a little nasally, like my allergies just all of a damn sudden just kicked up, please clarify the full card here. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus, please clarify the full card here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Yep, the Nine of Swords here in reverse, a release. Some of y'all are going to walk away from the mind, the mind fuck that's going on with you. And you're just like, you're just sick and tired of it. It's like the same shenanigans with this person or just with life in general. Please clarify the justice card here. Please clarify the justice card here, please. Uh-oh, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so something you're about to do, um, Libra, it's going to cause, listen, you're going to be happy about this. Possibly to some, um, if you are going to court, this is going to be in your favor. If you are getting a settlement, it's going to be in your favor where you can start to do things that you want to do. Start watering your flowers, your seeds. I'm just hearing like, I'm walking away from this. I'm gonna start off new. Like I deserve to be happy. That's what I'm hearing. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the Seven of Pentacles. For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Holy Spirit. The Three of Cups here. I feel like some of you could be in a court case to where your other was in a third party situation. The shit was found out about. And this is where the justice prevail. You're going to get the, all the years. Some of you have could have been in this relationship for nine years or more. You're no longer going to have to deal with this anymore. Because if you are going to court, it's going to work out in your favor. 
I feel like your person right now is, a, is in a very depressed mind, mind state. They're more than likely not even with the individual that they cheated on you with. That's what I'm getting. Hold, hold on. Holy Spirit, please clarify this Nine of Swords here in reverse in the full card. The Nine of Swords here in reverse in the full card. The Nine of Swords here in reverse in the full card. Holy Spirit for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. The Emperor, yeah. The Emperor is um, a father figure, Tarot, but this shit is in reverse. So someone is like, if you have already left the situation, like if you guys were not like residing with each other through the divorce or everything, you just already left, this person is not even possibly even trying to support you. They may, may not even um, be even given child support. Some of you could possibly, um, or is walking away from an abusive parent, a father figure, could be a mother too, depending on who holds what weight. They could possibly be trying to sue you, but whomever's going through any legal action, it's going to be in your favor. Holy Spirit. Let's clarify um, the Ten of Cups here and the Justice card. The Ten of Cups here and the Justice card. Ten of Cups here in a Justice card. Holy Spirit for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Three of Coins here. It's in reverse. So what is the Three of Coins about? It's about working together. I feel like through this whole court proceeding and everything, this person was not even trying to cooperate with anything. This person never cooperate with you. This is why you just like you're just done with it. It's like look look at the sun here. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. You know you probably just woke up one morning and just said fuck it. I'm done. I'm out of this. This is what I feel. Like. I feel like a light switch just turned on with Libra, and you just like you know you just saying fuck it. I'm done. Holy Spirit, please clarify. Um, the three of cups here in reverse, and the seven of swords here. I mean, not seven of swords, the seven of pentacles here. Some of y'all too, I see on the spirit, um, some of y'all may be possibly going through a depression too here as well with the three of cups here in reverse. Um, Cause you're so busy trying to figure things out. Spirit just saying, just balance out yourself. Okay, go walk with, with one with nature. The three of cups here in reverse and the seven of pentacles here. Three of Wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like somebody got a settlement. Someone's coming into money. And this is going to cause you to water, you know, what? where you once were so unhappy and you were just unhappy with the situation. Now you're going to be able to water your, your seeds now. Everything that you want to do. The Three of Wands. You may be even getting some messages and downloads in your dream. Some of you may be practicing um magic using crystals and everything the three of wands here waiting for your planning your planning that's what i'm hearing holy spirit is there any more messages here for libra summer rising and in venus hold on hold on guys because this any messages here any more messages here? What other message you want to give us for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. The Knight of Coins. So something stopped. The Page of Coins. I feel like this person just stopped. The Hangman. Okay. And the Four of Cups. So there was a missed opportunity here, Libra, where someone just stopped and was really hesitant about moving, taking an offering here. I'm hearing like somebody saying, look, I got something to show you. Let's see. Holy Spirit, 
please clarify, what is this Knight of Coins here in reverse? Because the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Coins upright is all about um, like a steady pace and planning, okay? Um, maybe this person is like wanted to apologize to you and you just got sick of all the apologies. Because like I feel like, because if you look at this, at this um, full call, it's like this person just woke up at the goddamn crack of dawn and just say, I'm tired of this. I got to release myself from this energy, this sleepless nights. Some of you could possibly have started taking anti um, taking um, antidepressant pills because of this person. And I feel like this person, you know, like they want to come to you and they know what to do to rail you back in. But I feel like this time you just like, no, I'm, I, I, I don't want to take it. Oh, Spirit, please clarify the nine. Of, or it could be just that this person just went ghost, just left. You know, for whatever reason. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Coins here in reverse. For Libra. And look, you got the Knight of Pentacles upright. See, I feel this is them coming in to give you the offering again to try to rectify things. But then you're like here in the Knight of Coins here, like you're just saying. No, I, I'm, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Because they know they got a lot to lose by you walking away. That's what it is. Look here, the four ones here in reverse. The knight of coins here in reverse. Holy Spirit, please clarify. Yep, you come to realization that. This was not going to serve you anymore. Holy Spirit, please clarify the page of um, coins here in reverse. I, I'm hearing like you just was out of options of, of, of trying to make this work. Holy Spirit, please clarify the page of coins here in reverse. Yep, the king of cups here. You become so detached from this individual. Whatever they try to offer you, you're not going to get it. Yep, you got the nine of of swords here in reverse, you just releasing yourself. You like shit is just not gonna change with this. And I think Libra, you were the one who I um made a vi I had a, did a reading like some weeks back about feeling invisible because you were doing too much for people and doing too much for your relationship. And boy, let me tell you, I had got some cursing out on that. And the only thing I could think of was that these people who was coming on the channel and leaving comments, it was on my Facebook page, had to be the ones that was in a relationship of the Libras. And they just did not like that I was telling the truth. Whenever you get somebody on the tarot reader that come in there, be that angry, it's usually, it's the truth. They're the perpetrator. Holy Spirit, please clarify the hangman here in reverse. Please clarify the hangman here in reverse. Or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting the sense that you're hesitant about going back with this person because you know you'll be good without them. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Four of Cups here. What is this missed opportunity? You're going to get your wish, though. What is this missed opportunity for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus? What is this missed opportunity for of Cups here? Strength card. And what I'm gathering from that, from the strength card, it takes strength, it takes strength for you to deny the offer. They got a lot to lose, and they want you to, to just stay there. Let me see. Um, I was just looking at it. Where is it? Let's go through Kipper. Let's see what Kipper has to say with this. Holy Spirit, just give me three cards. What messages do you have here? For Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, too many. Hold on, y'all. I'll tell you that. What other message here, Holy Spirit, you have here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
I have here Mature Man. Okay. Change. He's looking like, you really gonna leave? Yep, yeah, I have here Mature Woman. Look at this. Yep. I, I, I just said, I feel like it's somebody, y'all been in a relationship for a while, like it's a mature relationship, like for nine years or so. Bad health. It's a bad relationship. Now, not tell you that some of you were um, on antidepressants dealing with this person, Libra. Hold on. Mature man, Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the mature man? The heart in reverse. This person's heart isn't right. You no longer love this individual. You're done with it. You know, it's just causing too much grief. The relationship is in bad health, you know, period. Like, is it, there, there's no more else. There's nothing else you could do. The mature woman, Holy Spirit, please clarify the mature woman. Here for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and in Venus. Birds. Okay, messages. A three. Could have been third-party situation, like I was saying. Holy Spirit, this bad health. Um, Somebody possibly have a heart condition, too. Literally, a heart condition. Holy Spirit, please clarify bad health. Cut through. You be done with it. Kill it. Ending a situation that no longer serves you is key. And I welcome that because I just feel like you had enough. You were doing too much. With that being said, let's see what else, what other messages Spirit has for you. Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit, what other messages that you have for Libra? Okay, financial constraints. They're going to try to come in and try to block you from shit, but I feel like you're going to get it. According to this reading, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna prevail with this. Um, you may be in financial constraints right now too because of the transition that's going on with everything. But you're gonna get what's awarded to you. Holy Spirit, give me two more cards here. Attachments. Um. Happy family. This is what you're going to find. You in financial constraints because of what you are attached to. So you got to remove yourself from that situation in order to be happy. And I do feel like somebody new is going to come in. That I do feel. Let me see, Holy Spirit. Any more messages here for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and in Venus. Some of you could possibly could have had money issues dealing with this person because they just like to go out and spend it on other women and, you know, third-party situations or they have um, addiction problems um you're gonna have to remove yourself to be happy and i feel like that's what you're doing because you got the food card that was the first thing that came out you know walking away from um self-doubt and just go out on a limb and just say like you know what i'm, I'm just freaking done with this loyalty Deceit. Differences. 
This person feels as if, though, you know, you were the loyal one, Libra. And they come in with all the deceit and they feel like they have the right to do the shit that they do. Okay? And you just have had it. They were not treating it like as if, though, um, what you want is the happy family. But they were not treating it as such. They was taking shit for granted. What are the messages that you have here for Libra? What messages that you have here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so now that you're going through this new transition, it's saying visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually become reality. Hold a steady vision of that, which is beautiful, healthy, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. So you see how you have the financial constraints right here? Just visual, visualize that you have abundance. That's what Spirit is saying. I'm going to pull out one more card and then we're going to be done. Oh, I'm not going to take that one. One more card, guys. Hold on. And then we will be finished here. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Miracles. So if you don't see how things are going to pan out, it will. Navigate in the stars. Follow your bliss. And it says here, visualize abundance in all forms. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and financially. Okay? And last but not least, what does it say? The voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Okay? So just know, because I get the sense that, Libra, you were the one. You was the loving one in this relationship. And you were just person was just taking advantage of you and I feel like you just had enough you just woke up one damn morning and you just said fuck it I'm done I can't do this anymore this cannot possibly be life this is what you're saying because what you're looking for is you're looking for a happy family and since that person can't give you that you're gonna cut this you're gonna cut them right out. you're gonna cut the weeds out okay because this relationship ain't nothing but bad health some of y'all y'all father may not be doing well either I'm getting that too okay some of y'all have a heart condition. Financial constraints could, you, you, your health is not well, either with your spouse or, or, or someone's here health isn't well or whatever. And I feel like, you know, you are just being taken advantage of. Some of you may be in this situation and feel like you have to stay in this situation because a person has health issues. But that's not the case because this individual here, the King of Cups in reverse, they're so detached. You are detaching yourself away from them too. This is why you have the Nine of Swords here and the Emperor here in reverse. The king here doesn't even have his crown, okay? So with that being said, I am K-Star Moon Life. After, like, share, comment down below. And like I said, the information will be just below the video. And I will see you guys next time.